Hi, I'm so happy to see you. I'm Shamapti, and it's so good to have you here. And today I have seven popular Indian sunscreens. I have tried these things, and in this video I'm gonna tell you how this worked for my skin. I'll talk about the ingredients and textures and everything. So yeah, let's start then. So first I have put simple is with the sun sunscreen so this product is made in korea but this brand is indian and they have used bunch of new generation organic sunscreen filters like uvinyl a then tinosorb then uvinyl t150 and the texture of this sunscreen is really nice it is a true gel sunscreen doesn't leave any white cast it feels really hydrating this is fragrance free it also contains ingredients like scintilla to like calm down the skin it has ceramide allantoin and i totally recommend this sunscreen it's a very good one if you like lightweight sunscreen if you like you know the sunscreens that can um, hydrate your skin then this can be your pick i think it can work for all skin types it doesn't sting my eyes a beautiful sunscreen and it also contains niacinamide which can support your skin barrier even out your skin tone it has allantoin as well it did protect my skin against tanning and um, it feels really good on the skin very comfortable doesn't ball up and they say this is oxybenzone free so about this we need to talk about few things because i got concerns like people are scared of using sunscreens with like oxybenzone then evabenzone because they are thinking that this sunscreen is not gonna kill them because this are absorbing in their skin a way too much i cleared this doubt many times see fda they had this report and many people misinterpreted it I'll leave the link of this like this FDS page in the description box so you yourself can go and check. So see this is not only oxybenzone and evabenzone there are other chemical or organic filters that are known like they have seen this get absorbed into the body's bloodstream and it sounds uh, weird but FDA they themselves are saying it is absorbing like this but it doesn't mean that this is harmful they need to do more studies to see to determine if it's gonna be harmful or not and they themselves say that um, absorption doesn't equate to risk even fda has not yet approved the new generation filters in usa because they think they demand more studies they only give grass or generally uh, recognized as a safe tag to these two uh, mineral filters which are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide so this is the scenario if you're not comfortable using certain filters then that's okay but don't think that you know it is proven that these are gonna kill you because this is not true because datas are not there uh, like researchers are not done yet that can confirm that these are harmful there are more studies to be done so this is the thing but it is up to you what you would choose for yourself organic filter inorganic filter or hybrid filter but yeah let's not fear monger regarding certain filters without any uh, relevant data but we are free to choose any filters that we find to be okay for our use and i have wonderful mineral sunscreen options as well like these two these are tinted sunscreens this is from sunscope this is their mineral sunscreen spf 50 it is an anhydrous formulation which means it doesn't contain water it has mostly silicone as base even her one it is one anhydrous formulation it contains silicone as base and this is also one mineral sunscreen it contains 20 percent zinc oxide so these are the two sunscreens that i have that are tinted and these are really nice and her one you get i think eight shades options but uh, this one from sunscoop doesn't have much uh, shades like it has only one shade so on this side i'm gonna use sunscoop and the other side i'm gonna use harkoi to show you the difference if there is any so uh, the sunscoop one it feels quite light um, my skin felt fine with it see like other silicone based sunscreens 
it doesn't it feels like it doesn't absorb it stays on the surface you know what that feeling if you have used any silicone based primer you would know i didn't like sunscope's glow sunscreen because it had too many chunky glitters but this one is really nice it feels comfortable on my skin i like the tint it works for my shade and the harko one i should have gotten the shade one uh, but the two also works this is a shade two it works fine for me and i have to tell that it is thicker than sunscope and it feels heavier than sunscope to be very honest and it takes more time to blend than sunscope so if you want lighter texture then go for sunscope one but if you want more shade options then go for harko one but frankly both of these sunscreens are quite nice if you are looking for tinted sunscreen then i don't think you're going to be disappointed in this but the thing about the sunscreens they transfer a lot a lot if you gonna wear light colored a t-shirt or dress or anything there are chances that is gonna transfer so be careful regarding that and this uh options are fragrance free and yeah this is what i i was talking about see Now I have M Caffeine's coffee powder sunscreen SPF 50 PA triple plus, and I would only recommend it as or for reapplication. Um, if you're thinking you're only gonna use this as sun protection, sorry to tell you, you're not gonna get enough sun protection because this cannot distribute evenly on your skin, and it's very important for your sunscreen to distribute evenly on your skin and with a powder based formulation it becomes very difficult so i always recommend one cream based gel based formulation so yeah for reapplication is nice but i would prefer something you know compact kind of a thing this is very difficult to use and they have used zinc oxide um then talc mica though i didn't see any glitters in there formulation seemed to find this is not a fragrance free formulation but i would look for better um what powder based sunscreen to be very honest this sunscreen invisible body sunscreen is a very new thing that i have tried it comes in this spray bottle and it has this oil kind of a texture it is oily because it has this capil uh, triglyceride as main uh, ingredient like the base ingredient not main ingredient sorry yeah the base ingredient and it has few uh, silicones then it has few organic filters then it has few oils so this is oily and if you're traveling if you're in hurry then you can use this one but for like everyday use i would like prefer my moisturizers those lotion sunscreens but if i'm traveling or i'm in a hurry then i'd go for this one and i do recommend this one this is a good formulation and i think we should have this kind of options in the market uh, because you used to be stuck with only lotion sunscreens for our body right and now we have this so now i have two very lightweight sunscreens first one is wish care invisible sunscreen so it has spf 50 it has hybrid filters and this one is fragrance free so wish care when they first came up with this sunscreen they wanted to collaborate uh, and they sent me the sunscreen but that time it is to have this overwhelming scent so i didn't take the collaboration but then again they reformulated it and now it doesn't have that kind of a scent this is fragrance free i love the texture and i'll be uh, comparing this with this uh, very famous dermaco hyaluronic acid 1% sunscreen it also has very lightweight texture it has hybrid filter this is fragrance free in dermaco's formulation i can see old generation filters where wish care it has both new and old generation filters and the textures are very similar but the dermaco the texture is thicker than wish care the dermaco it feels more nourishing where the wish care one it is more hydrating and more lightweight and the dermaco it's it was stinging my eyes for some moment then it felt fine but the wish care one didn't sting my eyes but the texture of the sunscreens like both of the sunscreens are quite nice and i have tested this when i went out they prevented uh, tanning if you're looking for a lightweight sunscreen that doesn't leave any white cast you can go for either of this if you want lighter formulation you can go for wish care if you prefer something 
a bit thicker than wish care you can go for dermaco if you prefer new generation filters you can go for wish care if you like palm packaging you can go for dermaco it's up to your choice now we have many good sunscreen options and these are really nice i remember we used to struggle a lot for like getting one sunscreen that would feel light that would not have white cast now we have so many good options and about uh, like water resistant formulations see when it comes to gel sunscreens those are not that good being water resistant so if you're looking for water resistant formulations like those are like very good at being water resistant uh, then go for anhydrous formulations uh, what i do for everyday use i like water based formulations like this and if i go for a vacation say i'm going to a beach then i prefer anhydrous formulation for those days so you can see how the sunscreen looks side by side they're very lightweight like i told you non-sticky perfect gel uh, cream kind of a sunscreens so yeah i like these things and i would make a video on like top five uh, gel sunscreens options i think we would find that to be helpful and if you're looking for any lip sunscreen then my favorites are this these days uh, i like the strawberry shade more these are from dotton key uh, they are tinted uh, lip balm they contain organic filters and also this brand minimalist they have come up with new lip balm with spf i would test that soon i have ordered that i have not received it yet so yeah that's all for now i hope you found the entire review to be helpful I'll be making detailed reels on this from tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and let me know about your favorite sunscreens and the sunscreens that didn't work for you and which sunscreens I should try next. And yeah, those so sorry for the noise. I'm shooting in the other room and this room is kind of noisy but it gives in you know, a good natural light so I thought of shooting it here. Okay, so I'm gonna see you very soon then. Uh, take care and so happy to have you here. Bye bye.